So I came across a niche the other day and I'm like, oh, this is so doable. We can so do this in a day. So I'm like, you know what? I have to create a video on this type of book that we can create using Canva. The genre is search and find books for kids ages two to four. And then as per my Katie Spy, it gave me some interesting information. There's demand, popularity, there's potential, and there's high competition. That means that there's a market for this book. And is, as you can see, when you look at these pages, this is something that you can totally create on using uh, Canva. Look at this page. Very simple. There's a landscape on the background. There's a street, uh, a little store, bookstore, some cars, people walking, dogs, a lemonade stand, a lighthouse. I think that's a lighthouse. And kids running around. There's a dog with a free, uh, frisbee. There's a kid on a slide. This is so doable and we can so do this on Canva. Well, of course, I went ahead and started playing around with Canva, creating one of these search and find pages. And I did create something. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my very own, my very first search and find page. And what I did is what I call stacking. I started stacking elements together on this page. And then as I scroll down, you can see that I designed the front cover of the book cover. One thing that you need to know before you start designing this type of book. As you can see, the image on the page, I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. The image on this page, it extends all the way to the edge of the page. This means that this, the interior pages of this book have what's called bleed. So this right here, let me just click on it again. If I go like this, you see, if, if the image were not, I wasn't going to put it all the way to the edge of the page, then it would be no bleed. But in this case, if you're designing something like this, before you even create a template on Canva, you need the KDP calculator, which I just pulled it up. If you don't have this, you need this because you need to be able to calculate the right book dimensions. You don't want to get the right, the wrong book dimensions and then have to do it all over again as far as the design goes. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click here on menu on this KDP calculator. And this type of book is, let's say, a, an 8 by 10 or sorry, an 8.5 by 11, right? We're going to click on that. Then let's just say a book like this is going to be a total of 100 pages. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is it says manuscript with no bleed, manuscript with bleed. If the book, if the book that you're about to design, if you plan to extend all of the elements, everything that you're going to use, you want it to extend to the edge of the page, you need to choose manuscript with bleed. It's going to give you the exact dimensions that you need to put when you are going to Canva and you're going to create your template. Here it says to the right hand side, it says 11.25 by, it says 8.625, okay? It's the last one, that last number, because it has to extend to the edge of the page. Right now, I'm on Canva. When we click on to the right hand side and we click on create a design, we're going to click on custom size. Then we're going to go ahead and make sure it's in inches and we're going to go ahead and add those dimensions. What is the width? The width is, sorry, 8.625 and the height is 11 by 25. Perfect. Let's start designing. Let's click on elements. Then we're going to go to the search bar. We're going to start searching for, let's say, landscapes. Uh, backgrounds and we're going to make sure when we click on see all under graphics we're going to pick something that's relevant to the book that we're trying to create okay i kind of like this one maybe something like this mm, no it's not gonna work okay let's see if this will okay let me just choose this Okay, this is perfect. We can, this is a good way to start. Let me just expand it. Perfect. Now we're going to start adding maybe walking dog. Okay, perfect. We're going to add 
this person right here. We're gonna minimize it. And then we're going to add maybe this person walking the dog. And then let's see, an airplane. An airplane, I guess in the air. And then we're gonna add birds. And we can add the bird maybe like on top of the tree. And then maybe we can add this bird in the sky somewhere here. Remember, we have to stack this up. So we have to make sure that the page is extremely busy because there is going to be some writing. At least I would include, if I were doing this type of book, I would honestly include some type of writing where I say, um, search and find all the, I don't know, uh, let's say birds in this page. So I would write something like this because remember, it's a search and find book. They need to search for this and find it. So maybe we can add some more birds, different types of birds in different places. Let's say maybe something like this. We can add those birds, maybe put them on top of this building. Then look at this caterpillar. We can add a caterpillar, just minimize it. And then maybe, I don't know, put it somewhere here. And then maybe we can add a cat. And this is just, I mean, this is just an example. I'm just going to continue to do this over and over again. Just add some elements. And while I'm doing this, go ahead and feel free to do it along with me. And let's see what you come up with. All I would do different for a cover, add the title of the book. Let's say the title is search and find. Let's just put search and find. We're going to expand this a little bit. We're going to change the font. We're going to add an effect, maybe something like this, but we're going to round it out under shape here, right here in the bottom. We're going to click on curve. And then we are going to control that curve by using this right here. I'm going to do this. Maybe, okay, let me go ahead and just duplicate it, minimize. And we could put something like around the city if you're doing a search and find book around the city or around the playground or something like that. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to change the color here of the background. Instead of yellow, we could do something different. One of the dominant colors here is red. So we can do like a red and then I could change. I could change the color inside this, inside that um, for the letters. I could change it to like something like this where it's white. And then just to add a, another touch, I would actually move this here, move this here or something like that. And then let me go ahead and click on elements and I'm going to choose a ribbon. Okay. And you'll see why. Let's say I am going to use something like this. We're going to put it here on the top. Okay. And I'm going to change the color. We're going to use red. Okay. And then that's white. That's perfect.
And then what we're going to do is we're going to add your brand, the name of your brand. Let's say the name of your brand is, let's see, Kitty's, Kitty's World, right? So that's the name of your brand for all these search and find books or just the brand of books for kids that you want to create. That's what I would do. I would add that last touch and make sure it's something like this. Like, wait, let me change the color. I would change the color. You always want to go ahead and add this touch to any children's book it makes it look more legit it makes it look more professional like it's actually like an educational company that's selling this type of book so definitely that's a, a power tip i hope this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on the next video